another edition of Jimmy's Video Vlog for the 11th of, Ju of June 2020. It started off a few weeks ago, of course, with the senseless death of George Floyd. But since then, it's gone into weird directions. Taking down the statues from eight, it's defacing Abraham Lincoln to tearing down Christopher Columbus. To even in England, of course, of course, even all the way to England, of course, to Winston Churchill. Then, you had, of course, the uh, guns. We got a, uh, then we got a, um, then we got the Warner Brothers do in their remake of their cartoons, taking the guns away from Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. Then, of course, you also now, HBO taking off Gone with the Wind, a classic, classic, <laughs> epic movie in the golden age of Hollywood, which actually had the first Oscar, African American Oscar winning actress, which is how ironic, even when she did win it, she was at the ceremony, but she wasn't allowed to sit because of her color of her skin, wasn't allowed to sit at the, um, at the table with the rest of the cast. Then, oh, let's see, where do we go next? Then you got both cops, both cops and L Y N uh, police live, both being canceled, and would people want to get rid of anything to do with cops, movies, or anything related like that? Well, let me see. What's next? Then, because of. Um, Connection with the pre-Civil War, Lady Antebellum is changing their name to Lady A. Oh, wait, there's one more. You know the village people, right? They actually kicked, kicked out of the of the images the police officer. That's right. You've had the construction worker, you have the Native American Indian, you've had, uh, oh, well, but now, the cop just got kicked out just because of people, uh, you know, complaining about the police. And this is according to, and I just found this out just now. So uh, this was uh, in the hard times, and this is um, and this was actually a few days ago, but I just found this out now that the popular disco group, uh, the, the Village People, announced that they had severed ties with Victor Willis, better known as the Cop, in the aftermath and it, uh, of the killing of. Uh, of uh, George Floyd by a white police officer. And Rick De Willis is black! How ironic is that even? Talk about the cancel culture. Oh, one more thing. I forgot about this one. Forgot NASCAR banning the stars and bars from its racetracks. So, this is definitely, uh, definitely insane. I'll tell you, if I was President Trump, I would actually declare a declaration outlawing political correctness. This is garbage. This cancel culture. 
Oh yes, and I forgot. Um, Paul's patrols they want to get rid of too. Now that I think of it too. Because it gives too much uh, possibility on this. <sighs> what next? This is madness and lunacy. This is why we... This is lunacy, I'll tell ya, beyond the fifth degree. So... <sighs> What next? Well, well, well. Well, this is badness. All lives matter! And besides, when you have, you know, what, it's more likely in the communities like Chicago and Baltimore, you have more black on black crime than you do, than you do, uh, anything else. And more likely if a cop usually kills somebody. Uh, they usually kill more whites than blacks. That's what, and usually crime in those neighborhoods are usually black on black crime. I don't know. This is madness out there. All hashtag all lives matter. But that's it for now. Until next time, peace out, brothers and sisters. Let's learn. And as in the words of the late, great Rodney King, why can't we all just get along?